hey guys welcome back to today's vlog um it's not really a vlog today's video is actually about newborn essentials i'm going to show you a whole bunch of things things that we really use you know on a daily basis several times a day obviously when you are going to take your baby anywhere i think something great to have is a diaper bag now we are traveling so we do not have excessive amounts of things um we really tried to keep it as minimal as possible so like clothing wise like we have maybe you know a week's worth of outfits like seven outfits you know per size um and he has really been growing out of things really quickly so he grew out of his newborn stuff within two weeks and he's almost out of zero to threes and he's about another thing that you might want is a nose frida here you can actually see like what is in there and you know clean that and there is a filter right here so you're not going to suck it up <laughs> whenever you're pulling it out another thing when you have a newborn they recommend a nail file i actually got this electric nail file it has like different speeds and this one specifically has a certain head for um certain age groups so this one is like zero to three months and then I think there is like a four to 11 months or something like that. The other thing that you're probably really gonna want, you know, if, if you don't wanna have to have your baby in the same room as you all the time, um, is a baby monitor. And this one has come highly recommended by several people. Lots of my friends have it. This is what it is. I'll give you an up close view. The Infant Optics DXR8. It even has a thermometer on it for in the room, which is great because you know you want to keep your baby's temperature in their room from 68 to 72 degrees. The other thing that I would say you need is definitely swaddles. Now you can pick whatever kind you want because there's a million different kinds out there. There's the zip up ones, the Velcro ones. Um, these are just regular muslin cotton swaddle blankets. I really love these. We actually started with the zip up ones. Well, we started with the ones in the hospital, but we just weren't experts at swaddling at that point. And so then I was like, well, I'm just gonna try these zip up ones. And it worked for him, I'd say his first couple weeks. Um, he slept really well in it. But then once he grew out of the um, newborn size and went to the zero to three size, he just did not sleep as well. So then I went to swaddling in these and I actually used two because um, it just keeps him in so much better because he is just a mover. The other thing you're gonna need obviously is a crib. We went with basically a pack and play um, that had a bassinet in it. It actually also came with a changing table surface and a bouncer slash vibrator seat. It was all in one, I love it. Well, the only other thing is the mattress that comes with the pack and play you need to get another kind of mattress because it's about this thick and <laughs> it's terrible it's very uncomfortable i definitely would recommend getting another mattress we got one off of amazon um, it actually didn't specifically fit our pack and play but we just cut um, part of it on the side like we just measured it and cut whatever we needed off um, and the one that we actually got came with a mattress protector on it and it's just foldable and it actually has a side for babies up until nine months and then toddlers. So you just flip it over and use that side for toddlers then. So really love it so far and it's been working out really well. Um, so he's still sleeping in the bassinet cause he's not old enough to roll over or anything like that yet. Yeah, it's been working out really well. So of course, as far as the crib mattress um, and then you're gonna need a fitted mattress sheet and that's pretty much it. Now, the other thing is I would definitely recommend mattress protectors because we've already had a couple accidents where I've had to take the protector off and wash it. The other thing that you're gonna need eventually is bibs if they are, you know, drooling a lot. He really hasn't drooled a lot, but eventually he's gonna need these for when he's teething. <laughs> now he has had a little bit of spit up that comes out. So sometimes I have one of these on him for that, but he doesn't really have a ton of that. But there are some babies that I've heard that really have a lot of spit up. Now, I would say too, is that we got a couple different birth claws. And the one birth claws that we have are very small and they're only one layer. And so they really don't soak up a lot. So if you do have some, a baby that spits up a lot, that's not gonna work for you. But we got these ones from Copper Pearl. You wanna see the tag there. Um, and they're like three layers thick. 
and they're wide too. Love them. I use these all the time. Prefer to use these. I only have three, but definitely works for me. I mean, I'm at home. I can do laundry. He doesn't have a lot of spit up, but you know, if your baby has a lot of spit up, you might want more. I don't know. Um, then if you are breastfeeding, there's a whole bunch of different things you're going to need for that. So nursing pads for sure. Got to wear these. I guess I could have a whole other video on what you're going to need for breastfeeding, to be honest, because there's a whole bunch of things that you could use. Um, but you're going to need these. Um, obviously you're going to need a pump. Um, I have the Lansino Smart Pump 2.0. I really love it because it can go with the electric plug into the wall and it has batteries. So I can take it around if I really need to and pump. It is useful. So a couple other things as far as breastfeeding, you're gonna need this some of this lanolin balm for sure, especially in the first couple weeks. Once you get past the two week mark, you'll be feeling a lot better, but this definitely helps. And then I also have this breastfeeding pillow. It's called My Breast Friend. So this one's highly recommended. Um, or you can get the Boppy um, one as well. It's just like a U shape. So, but I really love this. A couple other things you're gonna need if you're breastfeeding is bottles. And then you're gonna also need vitamin D drops which your doctor will tell you to get because breast milk does not have a high amount of those. And then you're going to need these milk storage bags that will come in handy for sure. And then the other thing that you can try, if you really want to do this, you can to catch a little bit of extra milk, the Haka. So I do this sometimes. So when you're feeding them on the one side, you put this on the other side and it'll catch the extra that is going to come out during the letdown. The other things, obviously you're gonna need diapers, wipes. Um, I definitely recommend having A and D to protect against getting diaper rash and Desitin if you do have a diaper rash. For little boys, now <laughs> when you're changing them, you know, once they feel the air, sometimes they gotta go. So what we do is we keep these little um, muslin, they actually are birth claws, um, but I just kind of use them as like a little um, barrier just in case. So when I pull that diaper back, I put this on top right away, just in case he goes, you know, and then clean things up and then take it out and put the diaper on. And then as far as the changing area goes, our pack and play actually came with um, a little compartment that has area to put diapers, wipes, you know, all the creams, whatever. The other necessity that you need is pacifiers. Now, he really does not take it majorly. Um, I do use it sometimes to calm him. Like if he needs to resettle when he's taking a nap, um, it can be useful for that. Or if he's just kind of getting fussy. But the thing is most of the time for me or for him, he just spits it out. Some babies might like it better, but he's just not one that really takes it very well. <laughs> he didn't like the Philips Avent ones very much and he just spit them out most of the time. We got these other ones that are Tommy Tippy ultralight. He does take them better and he likes them better, but he will still spit it out pretty often. So um, he's just not a baby that loves pacifiers. So for newborns, they actually really like um, contrast toys. Now, you don't have to have that because really for the newborn, they just love to have interaction with you and just kind of look around like they aren't playing with a lot of toys. So you really don't need that many toys for them. But something that they do like looking at is contrasting objects or books. So we do have a few um, books that were baby books that are just like black and white and maybe some red or blue or yellow, the primary colors. That has really caught his interest and caught his eye when he's laying down. He just kind of looks to the side and looks at them. Um, and sometimes for tummy time, we'll lay that those books out and he can look at those. So that's something that you can have, but it's not a necessity. Obviously you're gonna need clothes. And like I said, you know, we really don't have that many outfits per stage and they are gonna grow out of it so quick. So especially the newborn stuff like, I mean, we really only had, a, you know, like I said, a week's worth of outfits and even some of that stuff he didn't even wear. And the ones that I really liked a lot is just plain onesies and the footies that already have like the foot covering. So, you know, it's an all one, zip it up, 
Um, and it's really nice if you have ones that also zip from the bottom for diaper changes at night or, you know, even during the day, just anything that makes the diaper changes easier because they, I mean, he especially didn't really, wasn't a fan of getting a diaper change. Another necessity that you definitely need, well, I would recommend, you don't really have to have it, but it really works well for us is, you know, especially if you have a noisy house, maybe you've got some other kids, dogs, whatever, um, is a sound machine and we use it for every nap, um, at nighttime. And honestly, I think it helps me sleep <laughs> a little bit better too. We have the hatch and it actually has a nightlight as well. And you can change the color, you can change the intensity of the light. Um, and it's got a whole bunch of different sounds, different settings. I really love it. Another necessity that you do have to have before you even leave the hospital is a car seat. So we actually, you know, being travelers, we did not want to have like this big bulky car seat, big bulky stroller. So we actually went with the Duna and I, absolutely love it like i totally recommend it for anybody it's amazing um it literally is a car seat pops up into the stroller with the wheels and it's just so easy for getting it on the car if you're running to get errands or whatever um, the downside of it is it obviously doesn't really have any storage they have a lot of accessories that they offer on their website too um, but i absolutely love it and definitely couldn't have done it without it so because we go on walks all the time almost every day and sometimes twice a day <laughs> so and then just you know like i said running errands and it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room you don't have to be like okay well, let's get the stroller out of the trunk and let's put the car seat in the stroller and all that stuff it's just like put it on the ground, pop it up, go. So another thing that you could get um, would just be like a couple blankets. We got a lot of blankets, um, but it's just nice because if he is just in a onesie and then you notice that they're getting chilly in the room or if you're going outside, you don't have to like put more clothes on them. You can just cover them with a blanket and they like being swaddled up in a blanket too. Um, obviously for bathing your baby, you're going to need some kind of tub to put them in, it's baby wash, you know, maybe you want to put some lotion on your baby if they have really dry skin, but that's like the kind of thing that you need. You don't really have to get washcloths. You can just use your hands. A lot of times I just do that. My hands are rough because <laughs> they're always washing things. I really like the hooded towels because it goes over his head and it helps keep him warm when he comes out of the tub. Another thing that we really love is the baby carrier because I love going on walks all the time and sometimes too when you're in the house and he's just fussy and he just wants to be on you but you have other things that you want to get done maybe you have another baby is just being able to put them in the carrier and then they just feel your heartbeat and your warmth and it just calms them and a lot of times they just go to sleep so 100 percent would recommend getting a carrier we actually have the ergo baby carrier so i just thought i would show you guys our carrier really quick so this is the Ergo Baby one. Um, it has like a little hood here that you can either tuck into this little pocket that covers their head. We have this pacifier just attached to it. I really love it. It's really supportive. He loves being in it, falls asleep. And one of the reasons that I really loved that one was because of the way that it keeps the hips positioned and it keeps them in an M shape whenever you're looking at them. That is just optimal because their hips are still developing. So you want to make sure that if you have them in it, whether it's a wrap or a carrier, that their, their knees are a little bit above their hips when they're sitting in it. The other thing that I love having is the lounger bouncer. It's like, it's one of those things that is not really a necessity, but it is really nice to have because he loves to you know, just sit by me, like whether I'm doing dishes or just doing something, just, you know, be in the same room as me and he can just sit there and look around. So here is the little vibrator I was talking about. It actually has a couple of different settings, low and a high vibration. It actually comes with an attachable little hood thing as well if you're out in the sunlight or something. We went with the Mamaru. He does like to use it, but it's not a necessity. It's just something that's nice to have and just kind of changes his environment sometimes. So, and sometimes calms him down before naps. Another thing that you might like to have is a lounger, just a pillow basically for them to sit in. We have one that's more of just a nice to have and one that's like 
probably more of a necessity, especially when they're newborn. We got the Bothy newborn lounger and he absolutely loved this thing. I mean, he pretty much just went right to sleep in it as soon as you would um, put him in it. Now, they strongly recommend you don't let your baby sleep in it and there was a recall on it, um, but pretty much with any lounger, you don't wanna let your baby sleep in it because it's a suffocation risk. A lot of people would use them inappropriately, but they're mostly meant for like when they're awake and if you need to just set them down for a few minutes, maybe to use the bathroom, that's just really nice to have. And sometimes that's the only thing that calms them down if they are really fussy. Um, the other one that we have is the Snuggle Me. Um, we really haven't used this that much and <laughs> it's crazy because it's so much more expensive than the other one. One of the reasons I actually didn't love it as much is just because it doesn't actually have padding in the middle. Now, I don't know if this is just mine, but <laughs> that, I thought it had padding in the middle. It doesn't come with padding underneath in the middle. So you have to put it on like a couch or some kind of soft surface because it's not going to be comfortable for your baby to lay in there on a really hard surface. I don't know. It didn't make any sense to me when it came without padding there. Maybe that's just mine. Who knows? <laughs> but it also is a little bit better for a bigger baby. So, you know, I think when, now that he's getting a little bit bigger and he's almost outgrowing this newborn one, I'll probably be using this a little bit more, you know, and he does like laying in it when it's on a soft surface, but I'm not gonna lay it on, you know, the hard table. And sometimes that's what you do. You put them on the table with you when you're eating because they just wanna be by you, but you need to eat. <laughs> So anyway, then another thing that's just a nice to have would be an activity gym. So there's the, the Mama Roo that we have right there. And then here's an activity gym. You know, right now, him being a newborn, he doesn't really interact with it, you know, a ton yet. But he does look at them, you know, the things that are hanging there. He does enjoy the little music that it sings. And sometimes he does look at himself in the mirror that comes with it. So, you know, he does like it. And it's something, an activity for you to do with them. Or if you wanna just set them down and let them have some independent play, that is nice. So anyway, that is pretty much it for today's video. Um, if you guys have any other questions about things that might be items that you wanna know if you need or not, um, you know, you can put them in the comments down below. All right, uh, we'll see you guys soon.